Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we are going to look at the four latest Arsenal news. The first Arsenal news is that Arsenal has officially confirmed an Arsenal update, as they confirm Arsenal finally seal £105 million deal for England star Declan Rice, as Arsenal officially complete the signing of World Cup England international and West Ham United midfielder Declan Rice. Arsenal have announced the £105 million signing of Declan Rice from West Ham, with the England midfielder signing a long-term deal at the Emirates, Rice had been one of the biggest transfer sagas of the summer. After an impressive campaign with the Hammers ended with him starring in their Europa Conference League triumph over Fiorentina in May, with Arsenal and Man City battling for his signature ever since. The Gunners had two bids rejected for the 24-year-old, one of £80 million and another of £90 million, before City entered the race and having their own offer turned down. But after City dropped out of negotiations, Arsenal became the unchallenged frontrunners for Rice, despite interest from Manchester United, and the club finally had a £100 million bid plus £5 million in add-ons accepted. Since coming to an agreement, both clubs have been locked in talks about how to structure the payments and iron out the finer details of the deal. Arsenal News TV were first to reveal last month that the two London clubs had agreed a fee in principle for Rice. Arsenal's offer proposed the guaranteed portion of the fee be paid over the course of four years. While West Ham ideally wanted the cash paid in two instalments by the start of 2025, however, the deal hit a brief snag after both clubs delayed in confirming the agreement as they hashed out the structure and legalities of the transfer. Ahead of the deal, Rice has been in Portugal, training alongside Manchester United's Bruno Fernandes and his Portugal teammate Rafael Leo of AC Milan at luxury sports complex The Campus, in Quinto do Lago in the Algarve region. Arsenal News TV reported on Tuesday that the weeks of delay were set to end imminently as the Hammers sent through their final approved wording on the deal to Arsenal's lawyers. Rice is understood to have informed West Ham of his wish to join up with Mikel Arteta, who had made him his priority transfer target this summer, and he is now set to earn around £250,000 a week in North London, with the final sign-off from the Gunners' camp. The announcement calls time on months of discussions as Arsenal nab their number one long-term transfer target. West Ham previously shared an enormous hint about the player's future with the launch of their new Umbro kit, the related imagery not containing any photographs of the future club legend. West Ham were frustrated with the Gunners over the slow progress of the deal, but completion not only frees up an exorbitant windfall to supercharge the East London club's intentions in the transfer market, but allows Rice to join up with his new team for their imminent tour. Arteta is a huge fan of Rice and views him as a future captain of the club, he becomes Arsenal's second signing of the summer after the £65 million arrival of German playmaker Kai Havertz from Chelsea, with a £40 million deal for Arjux defender Jerry and Timber next in the pipeline after agreeing a fee with the Dutch club. Arteta's plan is to deploy Havertz as a number 8 in midfield, with Rice acting as the pivot behind him allowing Martin Odegaard freedom to push further forward. Since making his debut at the age of 18 in 2017, Rice has developed into a homegrown hero for the East London club, making it difficult for them to part with him. In total, he racked up 245 appearances, scoring 15 goals. During that time, Rice, who played three times for Republic of Ireland in 2018 before switching allegiance to England, has established himself as a key man for Gareth Southgate's men, winning 43 caps, the Hammers' triumph in the Europa Conference League last season. Capped off what had been a difficult season for the club as they flirted with relegation and Moyes came under significant pressure. Moyes will now be tasked with using funds generated from the sale of rice to help flesh out the squad for next season, Arsenal fly to America on Sunday, where their pre-season preparations will continue as they face MLS All-Stars in Washington, Manchester United in New Jersey and Barcelona in Los Angeles. The club played their first friendly in Germany on Thursday, limping to a 1-1 draw against FC Nürnberg after an own goal from Jorginho leveled the tie, which featured new recruit Havertz. The second Arsenal news is that Arsenal has officially confirmed another Arsenal update, as Arsenal confirmed £40 million capture of Jerry and Timber from Ajax, with the Dutch defender signing a five-year deal with the club as Gunners close in on £200 million spending spree, as Arsenal officially complete the signing of World Cup Netherlands international and Ajax midfielder Jerry and Timber. 
Arsenal have completed the signing of Jerry and Timber from Ajax for a fee of £40 million. The Dutchman becomes the Gunners' second signing of the summer transfer window following the arrival of Kai Havertz from Chelsea last month. Timber, 22, has signed a five-year deal with the club after Arsenal made a fresh bid for the defender last week. Their initial £30 million bid for the defender had been turned down, Ajax had been holding out for a deal closer to £50 million for the 22-year-old but the player's desire to move to North London saw the two clubs reach an agreement. Growing up in Utrecht we all dreamed of being football players, said Timber, when I watched games with my brothers when I was a kid, of course I wanted to play for one of the biggest and best teams in the world, but I really had the sense that it had to be a team who plays in the right way, a club that has the right values, that develops young talent and has an unbreakable bond with its supporters, and now that I'm here, I feel at home already. Something special is happening here. And I want to be part of it. Now, let's get to work, Arsenal News TV understands Timber has been signed mainly as a right-back, but the club are aware of his versatility as he can play at centre-back and even as a holding midfielder, the defender is a product of Ajax's successful academy and was voted Eredivisie Player of the Year in 2021-22 as he helped the Dutch side win the league championship. It was that form that saw Timber linked with a move to Manchester United last summer, alongside former boss Eric Ten Hag. However, despite the Red Devils making significant strides towards signing the defender, Timber ultimately rejected the move, last season he made 47 appearances for Ajax across all competitions and scored two goals. Timber has 15 caps for the Netherlands since making his debut for the national team in 2021 and was part of the Dutch squad at the 2022 World Cup. The versatile defender can play at centre-back or at right-back and his arrival could mean possible moves out of the Emirates for Kieran Tierney and Rob Holding. With the signing of Timber secured, Arsenal have also completed the capture of Declan Rice from West Ham. Rice's has also completed his British record £105 million move to Arsenal on Friday after the club informed West Ham that all outstanding paperwork will be completed in the next 24 hours. The West Ham captain had previously agreed a deal with Oteta's side at the end of June, but the clubs are yet to confirm the agreement as they hash out the structure and legalities of the transfer. It will be exciting to see how these two signings perform in an Arsenal shirt. Do you know the Arsenal news on Joao Cancelo? You will enjoy this video on your screen too.